All right, so today is a special, 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 special day. It's because I got this, this beautiful thing in the mail. A lot of you guys don't probably know what this is, even though you guys watch like a hundred of your favorite YouTubers open this box. But if you don't know, if you're new to YouTube, I got my 100K plaque and they sent everybody a letter, but everybody's letter is different. So I want to read what they sent me and I just kind of want you guys to you know, be here when I first open my thing. I got me this letter. So we're gonna read this letter out and then see the 100K plaque. The letter says, honestly, your letter is a little different because of how good looking, tall, great body, and great smile you have. We only send these letters to the best of the best. Thank you, YouTube, you're not lying. We heard your new song guidelines last week before sending out your plaque and it was the best we have ever heard in our lives. The team plays it every day during lunch and we know all the lyrics. It's crazy how TikTok banned you like that during Black History Month. Just know we wouldn't do that. Thank you, I appreciate you. We love and need YouTubers like you. To be honest, before you started taking YouTube seriously, we were tired of all these fake ass pranksters. We thought the prank channel niche was going to go extinct from all the horrible fucking content they were posting. Shout out to Roman Atwood and Vitaly and KJ Smooth. We made this plaque that is currently in your hands with extra love. Also, thank you for changing the world with the new PJ merch. All these other YouTubers drop the same shit and we're tired of it. Not only that, most of it is shitty. Like who's wearing fucking dream merch? You must want everybody to know that you're a virgin. We heard that they were dropping this much, so please send the whole team some. We would love to wear them at our work because real men and women we're PJs during the day. You're starting something different, Mr. Joseph. Glad to have you on YouTube. Can't wait to send your one million plaque in the next couple months. Congratulations, sincerely, Susan. Thank you, thank you, Susan. Thank you. What the fuck are you doing? So I'm excited. I wanted this shit since I was 12, man. Oh my God. Like literally, this is like, this is a dream come true, man. Because honestly, I wanted this shit since I was 12. Been doing fucking Minecraft, Roblox, Call of Duty, all shit that didn't work out. And I decided, you know, to be myself and it, it worked out. So um, anybody that wants to do this shit, it is a lot of hard work, but if you really want it, be able to do it. And sometimes you're gonna have to make sacrifices. My sacrifice was that I had to live in my car for six months for me to blow up really quickly. There was nights where it was fucking cold as shit and I had to turn the heat on and leave it all night. And like, and there was nights I cried and shit, but at the end of the day, this shit was worth it. And honestly, like, I'm very happy right now because I know this is like the beginning. Like, next is 500K and then next is a million. And I want you guys to, you know, be here every step of the journey. So that being said, thank you for 100K. PJ merch coming out soon. You heard Susan. Shout out to Susan. Um, you will definitely be getting a pair and all your teams will get a pair. Thank you for this plaque that was made with extra love. Kiss it. Did you just fucking lick my fucking plaque? <laughs> Hello, I'm Kanel Joseph. And today we're gonna be doing the manager talking shit through the walkie talkie prank. Shout out to My House is Dirty. And let's just get into the video. Yeah, you go ahead and tell the bald ass nigga to put a face mask on, please. The guy with the belt? Hell yeah, the one with the glasses on top of the head. I don't even know how they sit up there. He ain't even got no hair or no eyebrows. What happened to him? What's going on? Put a face mask on. How many people inside don't have a mask? Why you ask me to put my mask on? Nigga, you heard a COVID nigga? You dumb? Who called? Who, who said? Who's that? My boss. Can you have him to come over here? Can you come over here to tell me that? No, come over here. Come inside the store. You do not want no smoke. Bring your bald head out to the front of the store. Don't, don't pay attention to this guy, man. What do I do? Because I don't want to get fired. Don't pay attention to this guy. Okay. Tell the guy to bring his ass here to hey. talk to me like that. Hey, boss, he wants you to come here. You have to give me a reason. Nigga, it's my store. Get the fuck out. Have these guys who come over here call me niggas. Have them to come over here. Have them to come over here. Where's the manager of the store? Where's the manager? Where's the manager of Walmart? I'm gonna put everything away and I'm gonna beat your ass if I come over there. Yeah, you go ahead and tell the guy with the weak ass shirt to put a face mask on, please. Hello? Yeah, for one, my nigga, you're inside. Take some damn glasses off. Put a face mask on, damn. What is it? This is my boss. <laughs> what is it about? <laughs> Put a face 
Fa- <laughs> Say the face mask. What the fucking face mask is? You can wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> <laughs> He's behind he's, you. He's behind? <laughs> Holy shit. We're just joking with you. It's okay, it's okay. With you. Yeah, go ahead and tell dude with that New York fitted to take that shit off. He is in Florida right now. So when you take me out of New York, then I take it off. How about I come over there and hit you with a left, right hook and have your ass slumped on the ground and then I guarantee I'll take it off then. Well, you come on, try that. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a thing. I had no roughing in a long time. Oh, no roughing, huh? So what about if I just hit it from the back? Then what? <laughs> All I can say is bring it. Listen, let me just go ahead and eat it from the back. Just come and help me out with this here, and then you go ahead and come out the back, and we'll get us a little spot, you know, we get us some gloves together, and I won't hurt you that way, all right? You know what, you're gonna piss me off. Go ahead and spread them legs so I can eat my dinner. Yeah, my hands are too hard to be hitting you like that. I want to pad it up, so I want to get some gloves to pad it up, so I won't hurt your little beautiful face. What are you talking about? I'm just trying to get it between your buttons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> and you can knock me out, and you can take it. That's what they say in prison. We ain't in prison, but you try it. So can I take him on a date? I got three women and one wife. I don't need nobody else. You got three this women and one wife. How about I just go ahead and get you a big, strong, healthy black man? <laughs> don't need it. <laughs> I'm strong and healthy. I can look in the mirror and get off on that if that's, that's the case. You said what? Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? I asked you who you are. Who are you? I'm asking who you are. Well, who are you? Who are you? Get out of my store right now. You got to get out of my store. Hey, boss, we got a problem over here. We got some, we got some person coming over here in my face right now. What you want me to do? What does it do with the camera? That's him right there? Go on ahead and do protocol. I'm gonna fucking stole my nigga. You remember what I just said? And hey boss, what is he, what is he doing? Why is he trying to fight? No. Don't, are you gonna get, you gonna get, you gonna get, you gonna get arrested? Like, you gonna get arrested? <laughs> you gonna get arrested? <laughs> I'm telling you, 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 you better let it go. I'm telling you, you better let it go. We, we got a, we got a problem. We got a problem right here. Don't we, touch me, my nigga. You touching me? Hey boss, we got a problem. What are you doing? Hey, Back no up. Boss. Do you want to get fired? My Do you want to get fired? Get out of my store. Do you want to get fired? Get out of my store. I'm giving you one more chance. I usually don't yeah. give another chance. You, okay, fine. Get out of my store. No, you get out of my store. My go shit. go on break. Nope. Go on break now. Go on break right no, now. Right. We're going to have a problem. Yeah, we're going to have a problem. And you know what's crazy? I was just about to give you a raise, too. That's funny. Bro. And you know what? You're getting back to 725. Thank you. Under minimum wage. And your breath stink. You know that, right? My breath stink. Hell yeah. And you big as shit. Yeah, it's good. You, you built like a walnut. Guaranteed. You built like a glazed donut. Your girlfriend sucked yeah. his yeah. Yeah. dick too. Yeah. You look like a walking meatball. Tell yeah. him that. Ain't no way you really got a roast and shit like that, bro. He getting fried up. Yeah, the three individuals right now touching the customers, throwing items on customers. What? Now he's lying. What? Look, you know what? Give me your badge. Give me your badge right now. Come here, boss. Like, you got to talk to him because he's not listening yeah. anymore. That's crazy because he blatantly lying to them right now. <laughs> we throwing items. He's going to be harassing customers. Come on now. He's probably mad because he don't got no neck. It's okay. We get it. I'll be mad too if my neck connects to my whole body. And every time I turn my head, my whole body moves too. It's the pranks of yeah, the pranks. Hey, get up out of here, man. Yeah. He's a little prank. No, do not. You can't touch my camera. No, because he already touched it. Dude. Get out of here. No, man. don't, don't, don't touch my here. stuff. Don't look. Great, look. Great, great, look. Great. It would have been cool. Listen, it would have been cool. Listen, listen. Hey, no, real look. simple. Hey, he, he keeps real touching my eight. stuff. Real simple. Let's go. That's the thing, though. Listen, listen. Listen, that's fine. Listen, you've been told to leave a private premises. If you don't leave now, you'll be subject to arrest for trespassing. Let's go, my nigga. Leave. Can you not Let's lock go. Me? Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga, y'all need to stop touching me, man. And you kind of aggressive, my guy. Like, you got to teach me a, a little little moves that you be doing. All right, you guys take it easy, or I'll just yeah, fist bump you. All right, appreciate you. Bro, I don't know what is with that guy, but he got, like, all aggressive in my face. Hey, look, I'm not even going to lie. My breath probably does stink. He's probably not lying. I don't know. Everybody has subjects to different smells, but it still doesn't miss the fact that he was still a walking meatball. That being said, wherever this fucking guy is, shout out to him because he made the video much way better. And he could have easily told us to leave and we would have left, but he wanted to decide to, you know, get his 15 seconds of fame and, you know, get his name out there. Dude tried to play victim and tried to lie and say, Oh, they were they were throwing stuff at people. Or they were they were messing with the customers and violating them. We didn't, we didn't do none of that. And you see the cops didn't do anything because you can see the guy was fucking clearly lying.